Welcome back to Houston Life. If you're looking for a family-friendly event for the holiday weekend ahead, there's a fun convention taking place in Pasadena that celebrates anime, manga, cosplay, and gaming in a smaller and more manageable setting. Yeah, it is the second annual BayCon, right? BayCon. And here with details is convention director Renee Valdez, Valdez rather, alongside Haley MOV and Minty Medley Cosplay, who are part of the cosplay guest lineup. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you. All right, BayCon. Mm -hmm. How did this uh, begin and what's it all about, Renee? So um, it began with uh, an idea I had la last year, uh, around 2021 December. I decided I wanted to have a really big birthday party and then that <laughs> turned into a convention <laughs> and it really, it started to be me, mean more to me once I realized that there's not a lot of conventions on this side of town, on the southeast side of Houston area. Uh, there's more Dallas, Austin, Houston, downtown, Katy, in that area. And I was like, well, we need something on this side. And I wanted to bring something for the community and something for people in the Friendswood, Pearland, Pasadena area over there. And that's where we started it at. Amazing. And what can uh, people expect at the convention? So there's cosplay vendors, there's um, a contest, there's panels, which are like uh, discussions where people can come and have fun, great things. There's uh, video games, uh, uh, contests, and uh, card card games too. There's all sorts of stuff, food trucks, cars, Atashi cars. Wow, everything. Everything. A concert too. <laughs> yes. yes. A concert. Okay, we mm -hmm. love that. Haley MOV and yes. Minty Medley, we want to chat with both of you. Mm -hmm. So when did you start uh, dressing up, doing cosplay? I started cosplaying uh, during the pandemic, during lockdown. <laughs> and so I started in January of 2021. So I'm a lot newer than most people uh, who do cosplay. <laughs> uh, I personally have been dressing up for my entire life. I just got really started with the more like fandom oriented side of cosplay um, around my sixth grade year of uh, school. <laughs> All right. Every sixth grader's dream, right? I know, right? I feel like I fit in with your costumes. Can you explain maybe <laughs> what you're lovely. wearing today or what yeah. character you're, you're cosplaying as? Yes, yeah. So um, today I'm Katra, who I'm also going to be at the convention. Um, and so, yeah, so I'm Katra from the uh, show She Ra and the Princesses of Power. Amazing. Very nice. And Minty, you? I am Kofuku from an anime called Noragami. What's it like when you go to a convention and people are dressed up and you're meeting people from all over the place? Describe the experience for someone who's never attended. Um, it is, honestly, it's kind of like unlike anything else. Like there's not a lot of spaces that you can be in where you're with so many people that are so like-minded and, and love all of the same things and love the art of designing cosplays and the art behind all these different animated shows. And um, there's so much like art there that you can buy and see. It's really wonderful. Nice. I love a space where you can feel accepted, you can express yourself, you can feel like you're one with everybody else. Mm -hmm. Do you have any aspirations for where you want this convention to go in the future? Uh, three days. So we started with the one day last year and this year is two day. Uh, I'll definitely see how we do with my team, my staff, and how we did on a two day and eventually grow into a three day and probably go into a bigger convention because we outgrew the space that we were in last year and we had to move to the Pasadena Convention Center because we needed a bigger area. Wow. So the idea is that we'll eventually keep growing and I... I don't, I don't know when we'll stop. <laughs> nice. Hey, that's all a good thing. And what I also think is cool is, you know, when you run into other folks at the convention mm -hmm. who are maybe dressed as the same character you are, everyone has their own interpretation or their own version, right? Mm -hmm. Isn't that part of the magic? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, it's one of my favorite things for sure. <laughs> it's so much fun just to see how they did it and you can take inspiration from that or you can just learn from them. It's really amazing. Yeah, it's like every single person is their own little individual like costume designer and mm -hmm. makeup designer and like actor and artist and it's incredible to see. I'm taking inspiration <laughs> from them right now. Yeah, same, <laughs> yeah. same. Very, very nice. Okay, so Renee, if people want to attend, do they need to buy tickets in advance? Uh, yes, right now the tickets are online. They're on our website and they're $20 but at door they become $30. So I would say get them now. Uh, kids eight and under are free, so that's always a great thing. And there is a family pass where it's like $65 for four passes, so that's another great deal too. Okay, fantastic. So Saturday, July 1st, starting at 10 a.m., Sunday, starting at 9 a.m. This is all the Pasadena Convention Center. And get those tickets now for 20 bucks in advance. Uh, thanks, y'all. That was so much fun. Renee, Haley, and Minty. Congrats on the convention, and I hope you. you see even more growth this year and in the years to come. Thank you. Thank you very, so much. Very, very nice. <laughs> and a reminder that if you would like tickets and more info, we have shared a link on the scene on Houston Life section of our website, HoustonLife.tv.